I'm a doctor of natural medicine and I need to tell you something your doctor will never admit. CKD can be reversed. You can improve. You can get better. It's true. And do you know why I'm so sure? Because my patients are improving right now as I speak. Their GFR numbers are climbing, their creatinine is dropping, their proteinuria is vanishing, and their doctors, they have no idea how it's happening. Their doctors can't explain it. They look at their labs and say, this doesn't make sense. But it makes perfect sense to me because here's what those doctors don't know. These patients were given a diet specifically engineered for their issues. Not some generic handout, not a leaflet with a list of fruits to avoid. A personalized renal diet built around their body, their loves, their life. This is exactly why today's video is different. Today, I'm focusing on the specific issues most people battle alongside CKD. I'll show you the best foods for diabetes, for high blood pressure, for swelling, for uric acid, for IgA nephropathy, and more. This way, you will be able to personalize your diet as best as possible. Let's start immediately with the foods that save you from anemia. There is one food in particular nobody tells you about that can make a massive difference here. It's red spinach or amaranthus tricolor. Now guys, this food is literally incredible. In medical literature, it's been proven to effective at treating anemia. It actually beat iron supplements. It's true. In this clinical trial, anemia sufferers received either red spinach juice 200 milliliters daily or standard iron supplementation. And the results were shocking. Those drinking the juice improved their hemoglobin far more than those taking iron supplements. Can you believe it? Yeah, this is the power of real food. And I have many more foods to show you today, but don't skip this anemia section because while most people think anemia is just a women's issue, it's not. It's a CKD epidemic. The truth, the number of CKD patients with undiagnosed and untreated anemia is so astronomical, you're more likely to have it than not. And anemia won't just make you so exhausted that even worrying about it feels like a marathon. It will also wreak absolutely havoc on your kidneys. This is why something else you need in your diet every single day is Swiss chard. Because just like red spinach and spinach in general, Swiss chard is loaded with three key nutrients that fight anemia. Iron, vitamin C to absorb that iron, and folate. And while leafy greens are phenomenal sources of plant-based iron, you should also include whole grains in your diet. Amaranth in particular is one of the absolute best iron sources you can find. But don't underestimate oats, quinoa, and spelt either. They're all excellent for getting more iron. Just remember you need to add a vitamin C source like lemon, kiwi, bell peppers, or leafy greens. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about foods that fight proteinuria. A lot of people are terrified about their proteinuria levels because keeping proteinuria under control is always the first step toward better kidney function. And while slashing protein intake is the most effective strategy against proteinuria, there are also specific foods that help. And one food you probably never hear about in a renal diet discussions is the caper. The caper berry is a fruit usually consumed pickled. It's a staple in Mediterranean cuisine. But this berry has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. And the reason? It contains a massive amount of antioxidants. And antioxidants are absolutely key to better kidney health, especially when proteinuria is present. And capers, they are the single best source of quercetin on planet Earth, alright? And guess what? Quercetin is so powerful, pharmaceutical companies are studying it right now to create new drugs for reducing proteinuria. So yeah, give it another 10 years and Big Pharma will sell you Caper X Plus for $400 a bottle. Or, you know, you could just go to the grocery store now and buy a jar for three bucks. Your call. 
Something else you can grab for 3 bucks that delivers antioxidants for days is the humble red onion. This is another phenomenal source of carcinogen and other antioxidants including anthocyanins. But there is actually more to onions than just antioxidants. Onions are one of the richest sources of organosulfur compounds similar to the allicin in garlic, alright? And organosulfur, well, they dramatically improve microcirculation to the kidneys. Yeah, better blood flow equals less proteinuria. Amazing how the human body works. Something else you want to eat daily to fight proteinuria is flaxseed. If you're one of my patients, you already know flaxseed is non-negotiable in the renal diet. It's one of only two seeds in my green section, the eat every day section. This small but mightly seed is phenomenal at reducing proteinuria according to science. Last but not least, turmeric. This spice is so healthy, I literally buy it in bags so I can eat it every single day. Because turmeric is not just, you know, one of the most powerful superfoods on earth. Medical literature shows that consuming this food daily or supplementing curcumin can significantly improve your protein oil levels by crushing inflammation. So make sure you eat these four foods every day, caper, red onion, flaxseed, and turmeric if reducing proteinuria is your goal. But frankly, the antioxidant power you'd get from these foods is so profound, I recommend all of them to anyone with kidney issues. Because remember that when it comes to antioxidants, you want as many as possible of them every day. Antioxidants have synergistic properties, they boost each other's absorption, and yes, this really matters if your goal is improving kidney function. But what if you don't have time to juggle multiple antioxidant-rich foods daily? What if life is chaos and you're just trying to survive? Well, that's exactly why I created Rena Best. Look, most renal multivitamins are just generic supplements with a kidney label slapped on, but Rena Best, it's different. I design it specifically to support kidney function improvement, not just to maintain the status quo. It's loaded with incredibly powerful antioxidants including CoQ10, selenium, and tocopherols, kidney-saving antioxidants you won't find in any other renal multivitamin on the market. That's why I name it Rena Best, because after years of researching and studying supplements, I genuinely believe it's the best renal multivitamin available. So next time you visit renabiotech.co to stock up on Rena Fiber, consider adding Rena Best to your order. One capsule daily gives you the antioxidant protection your kidneys are desperately crying out for without you having to become a full-time nutritionist. Up next, let's see the best foods for lowering the amount of acid in your blood. The most alkaline foods that fight metabolic acidosis, because here's the thing, if you have too much acid in your blood, it will literally dissolve your bones, muscles, and kidneys from the inside out. And following an alkaline renal diet can make a massive difference here. The absolute best alkalizing foods on the earth are dark leafy greens including kale, collard greens, and bok choy. These are the reigning heavyweight champions of the alkaline diet. They're all intensely alkalizing alright, but probably the only food that's even more more powerful is spinach. Ah, that's why spinach makes papa is strong. I get it. It's because he has kidney failure. Anyway, part of the reason why these foods work so effectively at detoxing excess acid from the body is their potassium content, alright? Potassium itself has a brutal alkalizing effect on the body. And that's amazing if you don't need to limit potassium. But what if you actually have high potassium levels to begin with? Well, don't panic. We still have powerful options. Arugula is one perfect example. Arugula is a cousin of broccoli, kale, and cabbage and shares many of their health benefits, but it's lower in potassium, ideal for every single CKD patient. Something else you want on your table daily is the bell pepper. Bell peppers are phenomenal. A cup of red bell pepper contains nearly three times the vitamin C found in a medium orange. Plus, it strips massive amounts of acid from your body. Another antioxidant powerhouse that crushes acid load is the eggplant. Yeah, this veggie, alkalizing, vitamin-rich, antioxidant-packed, and low in both potassium and calories. There is literally no reason not to eat it every day. So in short, if reducing the amount of acid in your blood is your goal, include in your everyday meal planting dark leafy veggies, arugula, bell pepper, and eggplant. 
Okay guys, let's move on. Let's talk about the best foods for IgA nephropathy or Burger's disease. But don't skip this part even if you've never heard of IgA nephropathy. And not just because this condition goes undiagnosed in the vast majority of cases. No, also because the foods that help here will help basically any single CKD patient no matter the cause of the disease. Because here is the thing, this breakthrough study, this is directly linking IgA nephropathy progression to gut health. It's true. And they proving not just that, improving gut health can dramatically improve IgA nephropathy prognosis. They also identified which specific gut bacteria people with this condition are missing. Bifidobacterium in particular seems to be absolutely key when it comes to protecting your kidneys. So here's the question, how do you get more of these protective probiotics? Well, first of all, from fermented cabbage preparations, basically either kimchi or sauerkraut. Find out which one you love most. Kimchi for Korea is incredibly spicy and super tasty. I absolutely love it with shirataki noodles, the zero calorie pasta. I even shared a recipe for making this a while ago. Try it, it's ridiculously easy, diabetes friendly and insanely healthy. And of course, you can also try sauerkraut. This is a much milder preparation you can easily include daily. Just be extremely careful and always get fermented preparations that say probiotic on the label or indicate live cultures or unpasteurized. If your kimchi or sauerkraut doesn't say that, you're just adding sodium to your diet, alright? Something sodium free that also contains live probiotic cultures is plant based yogurt. I especially love coconut yogurt because it contains live probiotics just like regular yogurt but without the protein and phosphorus overload. However, be very careful when buying coconut yogurt. Most coconut yogurt brands are not safe for you. A lot of brands dump sugar or even phosphates into their products. Always, always triple check the label of what you're buying. A good coconut yogurt should be made from just three ingredients. For example, this brand you see on screen just puts two ingredients plus live probiotics in their coconut yogurt. Don't eat stuff that contains added phosphorus or sugar. It's not worth it. In short, we know today that gut health makes a huge difference with IgA nephropathy as well. Include in your diet fermented preparations such as kimchi or sauerkraut and consider plant-based yogurt as well. Now look, fermented foods are powerful, but here's the reality. Most people struggle to eat them consistently. The taste is too strong, the sodium is concerning, and finding quality brands is a nightmare. This is exactly why I developed Renobiotic, my own probiotic supplement designed specifically for kidney patients. Because if you have kidney disease, a powerful probiotic supplement isn't a luxury, it's essential for survival. The study we just saw about IgA nephropathy, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There is a mountain of clinical evidence proving probiotics can slow, even reverse kidney damage. Renobiotic is the world's first probiotic that's both kidney protective thanks to specialized strains that destroy kidney toxins before they reach your filters and low FODMAP. Renobiotic won't trigger digestive chaos like most probiotics do, even if you have the most sensitive gut on earth. My patients don't just take it for kidney protection, they're blown away by how it transforms their entire digestive system. Less bloating, better regularity, more energy. It's like giving your gut a complete restart. Visit renobiotech.co or follow the link in the description if you want to know more. Okay guys, let's talk about how to personalize your diet if you have diabetes. While a diet for diabetes usually revolves around what you are supposed to cut from your diet, there are foods that are actually going to help. One is okra. Okra has devastating benefits for diabetes patients. It's an incredibly powerful effect as this review studies proves. So add okra immediately if you have diabetes. Now another food you absolutely need is raw ACV. Apple cider vinegar is the best friend of diabetics and I strongly recommend consuming it before meals. Multiple studies show that consuming real ACV can dramatically increase insulin response and crush blood sugar levels. And ACV is also a proven weight loss tool when paired with the right diet, of course. And another food that's probably even more powerful is bitter guard. Now, this unsung hero of the produce aisle is a true game changer for diabetes. This food is also known as bitter melon or ampalaya. Yeah, this is a food with many names and even more health benefits. 
In this study, diabetes patients eating bitter melon daily not only had significant decreases in body weight and HbA1c levels as we can see here, bitter guard is so powerful that creatinine of participants in this study didn't increase while diabetes patients who weren't taking bitter melon watched their creatinine climb. Incredible! Absolutely incredible! Another food that produces shocking results with diabetes is cinnamon. Cinnamon directly improves insulin sensitivity at the cellular level. According to studies, cinnamon can lower fasting glucose levels by 10 to 29%. So make sure to monitor your levels closely if you add today's foods to your diet. Foods such as okra, raw ACV, bitter garden cinnamon aren't just simple foods. They are kidney healing powerhouses. Up next, let's talk about high blood pressure and how to lower it naturally. First of all, try combining beet and spinach. You can throw these two foods in a soup, toss them in a salad, blend them into a smoothie. It doesn't matter how you eat them. Just find a way to get beet and spinach into your diet daily. Why? The reason is nitric oxide. Many CKD patients have dangerously low nitric oxide levels and this is catastrophic. Nitric oxide is a powerful vasodilator. It doesn't just lower blood pressure, it nourishes your kidneys with more blood, oxygen and vitamins. You absolutely want more of it. And beet and spinach, they are the two best sources you can find for this nutrient. Okay, a superfood that's absolutely mandatory in every kidney patient's diet is garlic. Garlic is something I usually recommend for high blood pressure, but it has an endless list of benefits. It crushes diabetes, cholesterol, supports heart health, liver health, immune function, heavy metal detoxification, bone health. Studies even suggest it protects from Alzheimer's and extends lifespan. Yeah, I've recommended garlic a million times in my videos and for countless good reasons. Eat it every day, but don't forget to monitor your blood pressure. Garlic is devastatingly powerful. And also consider almonds. Almonds are an incredible superfood. They're one of the absolute best natural sources of magnesium. Deficiency in this nutrient is as common as it is deadly. It directly causes hypertension among many other problems, so if you are battling with high blood pressure, consider spinach, beets, garlic, and almonds. Okay, what if the issue you're desperately treating is swelling? Well, one of the best and most criminally underrated foods for swelling is parsley. Yeah, this tiny herb should be an absolute a lister in natural kidney disease treatment. Parsley has a long documented history as a diuretic herb. Its volatile oils and flavonoids dramatically contribute to increased urinary flow, making it a time-tested remedy, says science. And you can use parsley as a garnish or you can use it to supercharge another incredible food, garlic. Parsley is a powerful natural deodorizer for your body. You can chew fresh parsley after eating garlic to instantly freshen breath. And of course, the most well-known food for swelling is asparagus, one of the most powerful natural diuretics, which is incredibly useful for helping kidneys do their job and reducing swelling. Now my advice with asparagus is to eat it raw when possible. Just grate some asparagus and toss it in a salad. And guys, if you want more kidney saving tips, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye!